everyone let me show you exactly how hydration works in a real next year's app and what actually happens in the browser behind the scenes so here's a simple component in app router it renders the current time using the new date function it's very simple uh, so when you open those when you open this in browser the server sends static html it renders the current time on the server but once react loads on the client it runs the same component again and guess what the time is now slightly different so if i refresh this you see there is an issue so hydration failed because the server in the html didn't match the client react compares what the server sent with what it just rendered since they don't match it throws a hydration error so that's hydration react trying to attach interactivity to the static html and the when the don doesn't match react complain now let's fix it we move the dynamic part into the use effect uh like this const Set time. I'm putting this in a use state, and it's uh, empty. Uh, now I'm using use effect. Assigning the set time to the same date function, and I'm attaching the dependency here, and replacing with the time. So now this is an updated component. So this time the server sends empty content, react hydrates it, and then sets the time on the client. No mismatch, no warning. So you see, uh, that's clean hydration. And how it really works in next year's app. Hydration isn't magic. It's react syncing up with the server and it's HTML with your JavaScript. And now you've seen it in action. For uh, uh, technical details about it, uh, I've, I've attached the article link in the description. Go check it out.